What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian and we're back in the next chapter of the Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, so let's see where we stopped. Alright, right now, level 17, you guys should be around the same if you're following up. Missions, our new mission is win a chest plate with attack percentage as a primary stat for stage 5 of Sewers of Armok in normal. Now, the first thing when you start a new day in the game, right? You need to clear up a little bit. And the most of the cells. Uh, basically, what you need to see is like quests. What do you have as quests? So, I met weekly. I don't need those pots right now. So, I can pretty much wait. Monthly, same thing. All this energy, it's best to be safe for later on in the week. Advanced only unlocks at level 35. And the achievements. Now, achievements we can do right now. Basically because if we do it right now and they're pretty easy, we get XP and helps us to level up faster. So let's go in here, lock a champion. I'm gonna unlock him and I'm gonna lock. Him. So I get both of them pretty quick, pretty simple. Change your username. Change your name. You can only change one time. Uh, I believe you can buy with gems. Uh, another change, but so let's see. D and D broke, not dead, or better. Hitchhiker's Guide. Two. Raid Shadow Legends. All right. So we have a name for the account. Change your username and change your avatar. But it should have changed right there. I'm going with Kyle, so let's get this. Boom, this is clear. It disappears right now. You don't get new ones, so not a big deal. Next, we're gonna take a quick look on... So usually, and I already done that, I should have waited, it's clan. When you have a clan, you go on members, and you're gonna have your activity. You just click on, just say you're here. Uh, that's gonna give stars to your clan and help them level up. So tournaments. Now this tournament everybody's in when you start the game. Uh, I don't really worry on getting first. I know it's great to get an ancient shard from it, but the problem is you may also use a lot of resources. A lot of times I do end up on first or second, but in general, uh, just play the game. Don't worry about this tournament in particular. You end up using more resource than what you can get from it. Alright, in here, this one, we're leaving for now. Collect everything else. Battle. I don't understand why Siege has this red when it's still blocked for me. Um, it is what it is. Okay, so this is another one. So, free rewards. Let me get those. Then go back to missions, get a attack person. So, while I'm doing this, if I look at my challenges, I also have win three weapons, uh, three shields, five gauntlets. So I could actually soon enough finish those because that will give me a book what will help with Kyle. But I could actually run really quick and run those. So it's pretty much get to level 3 on every single one of the keeps, but void keep. That's one of the reasons why the first week is so important is because all keeps are open. Uh, the same thing goes for your faction, so faction wars still close, but your faction. In this case, I'm a Dark Elf, Dark Elf faction will be open for about a week, so I can maximize uh, my gains by going there. Alright, so, let me just go really quick in here, and clear up all the way to 3.
All right, so markets unlocked. That's let's go really quick to the market. So some basic things about the market. Uh, you don't get only mystery charts and champions and armor in here. You can also get ancient charts. Now, my rule of opening, because it can get expensive, is the first ones, just a little bit of silver, I just unlock straight. Now, when it gets to use of gems, some people just gonna go straight forward, just unlock as much as they can. I actually will hold off until I see somewhere around here an ancient chart. Then I'll unlock up to the ancient chart unless I just need silver to unlock and then go from there. So mystery shards right now buy everything you can. Uh, and keep an eye, very important, keep an eye on Armiger. Armiger is, some people say he's like a Lego in disguise, right? A legendary champion in disguise. I wouldn't go that far, but definitely, I would say like close to epic level. Uh, he'll help you a lot on dungeons and a lot of the content in the most beginning. Uh, up to, I would say, like mid level, mid game. So let's buy this guy. Perfect. Great. Uh, you don't always see him there, but if you see this guy, just get him. I would say it's not bad to get multiple ones, mostly because if you have multiple, uh, you can actually use them to upgrade your skills. So let me say, if I had another armor, right, and I come to upgrade skills, he would show up in here and I wouldn't have to use any plugs. So, just one thing to keep in mind. All right, so this is a lock, let's go back to dungeons. Let's clear stage three. I will switch this guy and put arm gear, just get him a little bit of levels. All right, so just in case, I will reduce stage three, basically because I need those potions anyway. Uh, since both of my main champions are magic affinity, so it's not bad for me to just go back there. Woo! That's great! Ancient Chart. Uh, one of the things, uh, one of the channels, one of the main uh, content creators, he actually mentioned you can buy about five shards to on the market, right? That's how much a month, pretty much, the, the game gives you. I would say that's incorrect. Uh, by my experience, I feel that the more ancient shards I get on dungeons, the less ancient shards I get in the market. And I feel like a month, you get an average of 10 total being between the market and the dungeons. Now, I could be completely wrong, uh, but my experience in some of those games is that that's how pretty much it works. Uh, they have a limited time, they get one more, one less, but in average, that's pretty much what you get. All right, so now let's collect those. So the main reason why I finish uh, this challenge right now is pretty much a claim and to be able to claim that ancient chart. And get a few pots as well. Now the next one gets a little bit more complicated. Uh, I can probably clear to a point those, but it's better to wait. The next ones to take a look at would be the arena, but I still need to wait because I will have some issues, so I need some of those uh, those tokens. Artifacts, I could clear soon, pretty much because of the book, and same thing with champions. So this one, win a campaign battle using four champions of level 20 or higher. Uh, right now, it's not my main concern, uh, but as my champions level, as soon as I get two of my uncommon champions to level 20 
or one of my other rares, I'll probably run this mission. All right, so now let's go to our mission. Again, let's change for someone I like best. This guy, go away. All right. Oh my God, finally. Oh, that took forever. I feel a lot of ways that's, that's what really drives people insane. I used a lot of resources. Uh, it's okay at this point because I have a lot of stuff to sell now. I leveled some my champions at least a bit, but still it's rough. So, clear stage one, three times on higher or higher. I don't know why it's defaulting always too hard, but sure. All right, jam mine and locked. Now I. A lot of people are gonna go against me on that, but most players will say to unlock the gem mine as soon as possible. If you're someone just trying out the game to figure out if you want to stay playing, I would hold off to that. So what I usually like to do is, actually I don't like to unlock those anyway, because the payback don't start for at least about six months. So. For me, uh, the best way is, after I have all the masteries for my first and second champion, then I worry about the gem line. But now, you do you, you play the game as you have fun. If you already know you're going to be playing the game for a while, unlock the gem line is not a bad thing. I still would wait at least to have the masteries for one champion. Alright, let's skip. I got this progress mission. Now, 60 stars already have, that's great. That's why it's good sometimes to uh, get three stars right from the beginning. In the most, on the first dungeons, you're not really getting much XP. So it's not like you're wasting uh, energy. So the next one, clear stage seven. I'm gonna wait for one second to do this. Cause I'm gonna come down and I know I finished a challenge already. And quests, great. Now, if that was one of those two quests, uh, ascend a champion one time or upgrade the champion to level four, I would hold off on collecting. Basically because, like I explained before, as you see, my minimum energy is rising. So if I get one of those 72, I'd rather wait until it's above 100, and even at times just save them up. It's probably best. One other thing, uh, if you see, I could get right now three ancient shards uh, and get them summon. So, in here, summoning chance, yes, I could pick and hey, get a Lego, but understand this, I probably won't. So, I rather hold, and the reason I have to hold on to it is. We are during a fusion right now. As per experience, and if history serves me right, this means since we just had the chart pool event, and in about a week or so, we're gonna have a champion chase event. In between, they usually will give a 2x event, which means twice the chance for me to get a Lego or an Epic. And sometimes you may have actually a 2x event where if you get a Lego, you get two Legos for the price of one. So I'm gonna hold off to that for now and try to use just champions that I can get from the dungeon, not the dungeons, but the campaign. And work with them for now, just keep going and I may get to a point that I'm like, okay, I need new champions and actually open those shorts, but for now, I'm gonna just hold on. Alright, so I lost. Now it's time to pull the big gun. So, two things happen. Uh, every time you have only two champions, you have more people attacking them. 
That means I need some champions in there, sometimes to take a bit of the heat of them, right? So we added team. I'm gonna put her. Now, the thing with her is she's very tanky, what really helps. But instead of putting Arminger right now, I just gonna put food. Actually, I'm gonna put food in both of them. Basically, because I'm getting to the point that level 30 in here is not helping me that much. Alright, so before I go in here, I need to check progression rewards. So you can come in here and just collect them. Uh, it's probably good for me right now to come to the tavern, upgrade skills, anything helps at this point. And the most important thing to get everything upgraded is, in most Kyle, is the cooldown. So right now for me to use Disintegrate, it takes 5 turns. If I can get this all the way to the bottom, it takes 4 turns. Same thing goes for Acid Rain. Right now it's three turns, well it's gonna stay three turns, but it gives me higher damage. Ascending is great right now, if I can. So for me to go three, two, I still need more pots. So it's something I'm probably gonna gain um, as I progress, so I can wait for a bit on that, plus I'm gonna be using too much energy uh, on the lower levels just to get this, so I can probably wait for now. But one of the important things for you to ascend your champions is that they will get some ascended skill. Like in this case, for example, it will fill the turn meter of this champion by 25% of each enemy kill. So every time I kill an enemy with this, I'll almost get an extra turn. The most when you talk about uh, when you get to like spider, for example, you have multiple spider links. So pretty much you attack and you're gonna get a next. You're gonna get the next round again. All right. Woo! That wasn't that long, at least. Okay. Equip an attack type champion with gauntlets, chest plates, and boots, attack percentage. Not a big deal. Uh, I only need to come here. Just clear a few of them. Upgrade two or more artifacts to level 12. Let's go. Alright, mission complete. Now, I'll be honest, Plarion really knows how to suck the resource out of you. Uh, this one is fine because I had gear that I could utilize uh, by leveling, but at times you don't. So you just level whatever you have and throw in the beam afterwards. So, win five classes every in the battles. You guys see my team power is rising right now. It has to do with uh, the champions I have, levels, and the gear I'm using. So you've got to be really careful about the team power in here because at times you may actually fight against someone that is a lot higher, but it's a pretty easy fight. And at times you fight against someone that is a lot lower and you get destroyed. So just with time you guys gonna pay attention you're gonna realize the difference uh, a lot has to do with the synergy between uh, the team right right now lower levels there's no synergy most people just put whatever they have uh, this one's actually a pretty decent setup for a team but I can just nuke them all right mission done Clear stage 4 of Palace of Arabia on normal. Alright, you guys see I've been dying a lot right now, so it is time for me to start 
adding champions that I can use as food. That's the main reason why I'm holding on Armiger because uh, my plan is to actually use him. So I don't want to feed him. I do need three champions total. So probably my best bet is just remove him and add someone that I can use as food. Now, Sniper is not that bad, but. I'll probably get cops off her if I really need for some reason, uh, mostly for faction wars in the beginning. So I'm not too concerned about that. All right, so mission complete. Let's see what's next. Upgrade the champion to rank four. So now that's really what I've been working on. And for me to do this, I need to get three of those guys to level 20 and then use it up. So basically my plan right now is I'm just gonna keep fighting here using pretty much those champions that I'm gonna use for food. The moment I get to level 20, uh, I'll just feed whatever other uncommons I have them to be able to make them as three star chickens and level pile. Now this being said if I don't have enough I will pull some of my mystery shards, the green ones. Um, just get food for them. And who knows, hopefully I can put a really good rare. Alright guys, so I will be a cheat. Not cheating, just I'll be a cheat by the sense of I'm gonna go to the tavern and as much as I'll tell you to save your resources, there are times that I don't feel it's such a hurry in the most because you will be getting a lot of those through time. Uh, you do have to pay attention on how you use them, but I wouldn't have an issue. Throwing two pots in here, getting him to 20. There you go. I mean, don't use if you don't have to. If you get too close to get to level 20, see if you have anything. If not, just run once or twice in the dungeon or in the campaign. Well, let's see what I have. So I only really honestly have two. So I'm gonna come right now to the portal. I have 50 mystery shards. Alright, so I got enough right now. So I can actually hold on to opening more charts right now. So I just come to the tavern. Try not to use some of the fusion ones, even that I'm right now using I'm gonna be using two to actually level. Alright, so do have to unlock sniper. So you cannot use uh, to rank another as chickens if you have on the arena defense or in some other areas of the game. So take her off, her armor gear is, even he has no equipment at all. Save and upgrade. Alright, so complete the mission, got him to level 40. Uh, I would actually hold on even if I had already uh, the chickens I would have waited to put him to 40 for that reason this mission would not have been completed if I had already done prior and the same thing goes for ascensions a lot of times you will have some of the missions where you are required to ascend your champion let me say to 4 stars, 3 stars, 5 stars so, in the most of the beginning of the game, I try to hold on to do those things until I'm required. Alright, so it's two or higher, three times, ice golem. Let's go! Why it defaults too hard? I don't know. Now, the last one, uh, I don't feel I did that great on this one, but. Let's look at let's look at the affinity. A lot of times you will have a hard time. Okay, so this affinity was 
the opposite of my main champions. So I should be able to... Ooh. Should be able to win this. And if I can clear, that gives me a um, possibility of getting 3 to 4 stars. What is pretty much the type of equipment I want to have around this level. Hopefully higher, but 3 to 4 should be enough on the beginning. Uh, one of the things I avoid doing, and you guys should pay attention on, is leveling too much some of those pieces of gear, you know, most when it's 3 to 4 stars, because to up to 5 stars is a very quick process, so I try not to go above level 12. A lot of them are going to keep at level 8, unless they're really good pieces. Uh, because you, you will want to grow extremely fast. Alright, so win one of each speed artifact. So we're back. We're back. Back to New York. So I'm not worried about uh, getting chickens up at this moment. Uh, I don't think I can beat the stage. Even I rank him up, but he's still level 4. Um, that's something I could go to the tavern and give him a few levels. But as for right now, I'll choose to just get the uh, get the XP. Now I could remove uh, the two extras in there because the XP right now is only being divided between Ninja and him. Uh, if I leave both of them, since Kyle is not on his max level, so he's not just sucking all of that for him, uh, half of that for himself without using. All right, level 20, Faction Wars Unlocked, so I will go there really quick, I just need to make sure where I am right now, so I don't rerun. Okay, stage 3, all right, let's go, let's check the market, always open the market every time this thing's on, so I don't see anything interesting here. Uh, don't worry about those those equipment for I would say 90% of the time. This one would be interesting for a star if that's a really good piece, but it still would cost a pretty good penny. Plus, I'm not opening this right now. Faction Wars. All right, so Faction Wars, another way to get resources. Uh, basically. You come in here, you fight stage, you try to get stores, and it's pretty much like campaign. So you try to clear as much as you can. This case for me it would be maybe possible, probably not, to actually beat even the first, because I only have Kyle. Uh, but because I chose him, so his faction crypt gonna be open for seven days when I start the game, right? Every day, you're gonna have two to three uh, factions open, faction crypts open. So, you just plan, set up your teams. Right now, it's not my main concern, but it is a concern to a point. Um, I usually try to have some basic teams. A lot of times, as I'm leveling food, I may level food of Banner Lord, for example, if the it keeps open or if it's gonna open the following day. And try to get a few, just get some of those ancient shards, some chickens, literally chickens. And that's pretty much how I do. Alright, so level three, stage three still. Alright, another one completed. Let's see on quest. Alright, upgrade to rank 4. Don't worry about it. That's one of the missions I said not to actually collect right now. Two more artifacts level 12. Jesus. Jesus, Plurian. Stop. Okay, I can actually do that um, for Ninja. Alright, another mission done. 
Campaign mission already uh, cleared, so I got another one, another ancient shard. Stage two or higher of the Minotaur Labyrinth three times. Let's go. I usually don't worry so much. Look, Minotaur Labyrinth would be a great place to farm uh, your scrolls if you had the chance to do the double. Okay, so right now. It, it just uses your multi battles and takes too long. So, what I'm gonna try to do, I will try to run just both of them and see if I can actually clear. Alright, so Ninja carrying the team. I mean, I knew that was going to happen, but wow. Okay, another mission complete. 10 medals from classic arena battles. See, that's why you have to keep, you have to save them. The most if you're trying to complete this way. Um, it, and it's something I advise because it gets very long to clear these areas um, after the first week. So, okay. 10 medals. So right now I believe I'm getting one medal per. So I need 10 battles, and that's why you save your tokens. Alright, mission complete! So, since I reached level 3 uh, on bronze, uh, I actually got 2 medals instead of just 1. So I didn't have to do 10 full battles. Challenges, complete a couple of challenges as well. So the next one is upgrade the any affinity bonus at the Great Hall. So I'm actually going to do that right now, if I can. No, 50. So I still need a lot, uh, that's fine. Alright, missions complete, clear stage 7 of Tilshire. Alright, another one completed. Come in here, close this, upgrade the champion to level 40. But I already had, you know, because of Ninja, so that was pretty complete. Be a bit of a pain if you don't have uh, Lego or at least an Epic with you. Upgrade two more artifacts to level 12. How can I suck the life and all the resources of every player? Well, Clarion, that's how. All right, let's raise her HP. And don't take me wrong, she's not as horrible. She's she's a bit of a bathe champion. Uh, because she's tanky, uh, a lot of people will try to level her. You're gonna get a bit stuck with her, almost go to level 60. But unless you're really unlucky, you should be able to actually get rid of her pretty early in the game. So, a lot of times, if I'm lucky enough, I end up using her as food, pretty much to level uh, as a four-star chicken. But as of right now, if I'm going to be holding some of the shards, this may not happen. I've been lucky in the past by pulling two ancients and actually getting epic champions back to back, but it's something I'm gonna be waiting for right now. Alright, one more mission complete. Next! Stage 1 of Fire Knight's Castle on Hard Normal. Now, Fire Knight, uh, the major issue on Fire Knight is how many hits you are able to get before you get his uh, shield down. So, right now in the beginning, not a big deal. Uh, those champions are pretty decent. Uh, basically because Kael has uh, an attack with 4 hits, what is his poisons. Uh, Ninja also have multiple attacks. He has an ally attack. Uh, so this helps a lot. And Arminger actually can bring down the uh, turn meter. So it has turn meter control. So this is not a bad team, the most for this point uh, of the game. 
but you can't go too far on Fire Knight. Pretty much clearing stage one, two, three, it's already pushing after uh, with a team like that. All right, so pretty much in here, I lost this. Uh, this will just be going until I'm completely dead. So, what am I going to do? Am I going to change the team? No. But instead of doing auto, I'm gonna try to win that manually. And that's pretty much by using kind of like a little finesse. Woohoo! <laughs> He's done barely. I thought actually I was going to have to pretty much like leave and work on leveling uh, my other champions for a while. Okay, so this finally done. Luckily, I don't have to do multiple times. Now, one of the good things right now is I'm getting shield armor. Shield set. So, it gives you, uh, for three turns, shield, what helps a lot on progression as well. So, Vintana Arena. I'm gonna skip to that. And let's go. Okay. And battle's done. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Now that's another reason why you don't want to be going straight to arena battles. Yes, it's great. You're gonna open some of the uh, some of the hall, but at the same time, you're gonna be getting into higher arena where to win ten battles like this makes it harder. And the most fear on the arbiter missions, just trying to complete as fast as you can. It will help you later on to do this way, so let's just see. Anyway, we in one of each type of life steal artifact. So, if you guys notice, right now I am literally going straight into each one of the areas I need to buy complete in this way. Without using energy I don't have to, uh, just pretty much clearing everything I can, right? So, arm gear right now. So, I'm actually going really quick to the tavern. And I'm gonna get him ranked. Right? So, I don't have a choice. I have to choose one of those. I'll just try and fit. So, those are also fusions. Uh, a lot of times, it's good to save those guys. Uh, they're pretty easy to get for the most part. A couple of them, a little bit harder. Uh, the drop rate. This one, not too hard, the most you can get him from campaign. So, I am going to get him. I, I'm gonna use him right now. Rock Tooth, probably gonna become food uh, really soon. But this guy, I need him upgraded. Still the same. Well, let's see what I got. If that's the same or not. Uh, that's the other thing. The Novice Tournament, as we're going up, we're actually getting rewards. And soon enough, I should be getting that uh, speed set. That's really what I mean for Sedan. Basically, speed sets, even for late game playing, it's one of the best sets of the game. Alright. And getting silver. So you guys have to remember, you still have a good amount of silver from the um, harbor. Yeah, scroll off the harbor. So you still have silver sitting there. Um, I just don't have the patience to go through right now. And there you go. Got a tome. But if I completely run out, I would have that resource as well. And trust me, I will run out of silver. Alright, so... We got those guys. Elder in there, probably gonna be food very soon. Uh, he does have, I believe, a life protection. So I may use him until I find a sub substitute. Um, I just don't know how high I'm gonna actually get him up. Until this happens. 
I don't believe I will level him above level 40, basically because he's a waste of resources. But, he can be a pretty good uh, rank 5 chicken. <laughs> By the way, um, lifesteal in the lower levels, uh, up to like mid game, really, it's probably one of the best, best uh, sets you're gonna have. Pretty much, uh, to find a decent healer is very hard. So, for a lot of the content, you're probably gonna want to run with this artifact set um, just to be able to heal yourself and keep your champions alive. Alright, another mission complete and clear stage 7. Alright, the other one was to get one piece of each uh, of the armor, life steal. Ascend champion to level 3 of ascension. You see, that's one of the reasons why I said you gotta hold on before you do things like this. Uh, basically because if I had actually got uh, Kael to level 3 already, would have a hard time to get resources for that. So I need to see what I need as of now. So ascending, I can ascend him to one. All right. So what do I need to farm? I need three more of those. What is pretty easy? It's coming here. All right. Got all the pots I need for right now, and let's check the market. Okay, just Mr. Shorts. Yes, I would probably buy them, but I am not paying 50 gems for it. Even I know I will have to open eventually, but I am looking to first get 800 gems so I can open all the masters for my champion. That's my priority right now. Go. Keep forgetting and quick quest. Okay. Ascend. Ascend to four? No, because there is a mission not far from now where it will require me to get him, get one of my champions to four star ascension. So hold on. Even when you can do things, doesn't mean you have to. Okay. A great and affinity ball. Do I have enough? No. I need three more. Uh, now in this case, yes, it makes sense for me to go to the arena, get two battles on, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, got everything I need. now. Which one should I go? Basically, the most important ones are pretty much going right to left for the most part. At least get your accuracy, accuracy, uh, resistance, and HP, defense. Attacks use the last one, but there is a mission that can be coming up soon enough that will require me to open all three attack affinity bonuses for every single affinity, but uh, the neutral one, right? Uh, void one. So basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open attack right now, and it's really to optimize those resources. Okay, earn three star in one day of clan activity. This will get me stuck later on because it will require me to fight against a clan boss. Uh, and if you come down a little bit, I will have a mission that requires me to deal 500k damage. The Demon Lord. So, when I get to that, I will be stuck because it will take uh, 6 hours for me to get another key. But it's fine, because we'll probably take a break by then.
All right, so clan boss at this point, just going easy. Uh, pretty much for me, the only thing it's gonna do is give me uh, an idea of how much damage I can cause as of now. Make sure to put the two axe, put an auto. <laughs> All right, so 1.32 million. What I believe doesn't allow me quick battle yet. What? What is this? Okay. Yeah, so I already have quick battle in here. What it means I already got the last, uh, the highest chest with one key. So I can skip to normal. And that's one thing that you should be doing every day, right? Uh, fight the clan boss, get your. Uh, Pretty much uh, get all the rewards. You may be getting a couple of shards of that, which is great. Now, if I had remembered that mission, I could have already gotten all three stars, right? And I wouldn't have to worry on the next mission to need one key. Okay, so that means pretty much that on my next key, the next time I get a key, I can fight on normal and make 500k because that's all i need what will help me to get a higher chest as a reward all right so mission complete clear stage four or higher Let's try to clear stage 6. If I can't, I just need to go down to 5 that I know for a fact I can clear. Alright, so stage 6 it was the highest one for me to actually clear as of now, but it's fine. Lock another champion mastery. There you go. Ninja, I choose you. Well, he's already in. Let's get KL. Unlock, there you go. Perfect. Clear stage 7 of Deadlands. So as you guys can see, the way you're doing, you're pretty much taking care of the missions and going through the campaign at the same time without having to go back too much. Besides by a couple of mistakes I made. But it's fine, because as of right now, I have over a thousand energy. I haven't uh, actually dug into my funds of energy, I haven't done any of that. So, and it's been a few hours just playing non-stop. Alright, let's go. Let's clear the Deadlands. Alright, another mission done. One down and a lot of others to go. And getting another chart. Five artifacts from the Ice Golden Speak. Okay, let's just come in here, get this challenge done, get this book, set for champions rank 3, perfect, and 5 random battles, this I could probably clear a lot of then, so this is the one I was talking about before, uh, upgrade the attack bonus for all affinities, and it is worth actually getting this. Even if I feel it's a little bit of waste of resources uh, in the beginning, but you get a hundred gems. So in here I would have 400 if I got those, and it's halfway for me to get all masteries on one of my champions. All right, so as I can see, uh, stage six probably because I almost finished dead. Uh, will be the highest I can go and I already got one so the next uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put super raids super raids uh, is pretty much you're gonna be doing two battles as you do one what it means you get double the rewards double everything so right now I'm gonna use super raids unless I lose the next one I'm gonna keep it on 
All right, mission complete. Upgrade two champions to level 40. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty easy. Uh, I just gonna use the Bruce. Equip two champions with six artifacts off level 12 or higher. All right, guys, so I will equip Kael with life steel gear. Pretty much help keep him alive, uh, even being low uh, level gear. So one of the things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take back from Narmager his boots. So I just need to come in here, filter, equipped, and equip this piece. I have to pay 25. That's fine. Now I only need four pieces of gear for that, but I will probably put everything. Everything I can, at least. Alright, your mission done! Next one. Clear stage 7 of Godfrey's Crossing on normal. Alright, so I feel we hit, right now we hit a wall. Uh, Godfrey's not so hard. Uh, I could clear right now, but this video is already getting long. And after that, the 25 champions and the wall is really at the 500,000 damage on the Demo Lord. So, because of that, I'm gonna stop right here. You guys get some rest. You know, I think that's a lot of grinding for the day. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped some of you players. And, as always, I'll see you in the game.